He arrived full of fight, but it wasn't quite how he left. Chief Justice Renato Corona, the highest judge in the Philippines, spoke emotionally for three hours at his trial. He said he wasn't just addressing those in the courtroom, but also his fellow countrymen. I am certain, I am very certain, I committed no sin, I did not engage in corruption, and I did not steal from the government. Corona pleaded his innocence, saying that the government's full force was being used in a personal vendetta against him. He accused President Benigno Aquino III of twisting the law to question his integrity and fabricate charges of corruption and partiality. The former president of the Philippines, Gloria Arroyo, appointed Corona one month before her term ended in 2010. The controversial decision was seen by many as a move by Arroyo to protect herself from possible prosecution after she left office. When Aquino succeeded Arroyo, he refused to have Chief Justice Corona swear him in. And with that, the battle between the executive branch of government and the judiciary was officially on. When he ran for office, Aquino promised to clean up institutionalized corruption. Gloria Arroyo was arrested and charged, and her chief justice was put forward for impeachment, accused of having tried to avert the motions against Arroyo. The impeachment process is just part of it. It's just um, a single cog in the entire picture. The more that you see uh, prosecution being successful, naturally, the more hope you have, and the people begin to realize, so... It's possible. At Tuesday's court appearance, Corona didn't stay long enough to be cross-examined. He finished testifying and then just walked out without the court's permission. The senators who were sitting as judges got angry and had the Senate locked down until the Chief Justice was found and brought back. His lawyers explained that their client meant no disrespect, but was a diabetic and had been feeling faint. He's expected on the stand again on Wednesday, unless he's hospitalized, which his defense lawyers now claim he might need to be. But it's what happens after the trial that Filipinos are most curious to see. If the Chief Justice is found guilty, will he then also likely spend time in jail? If he does, he would be the highest public official to do so. If, on the other hand, he's acquitted, what would that then mean for the Aquino administration? It would redefine not just the country's judiciary, but its democracy as a whole. Margot Ortigas, Al Jazeera, Manila.